Hey YouTube, Dylan from Dylan's Fits here. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you guys why I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan and how I became a Dallas Cowboys fan. So I became a fan of Dallas Cowboys when I was about 10 years old, so 2012, but I didn't really start watching them as much as I could until about 2015. And the reason I didn't start watching them like all the time in, 2015, in 2012 when I was 10, when I first started like liking them, was because I, I didn't understand football at all. I did not like it. I just, every time I saw the Dallas Cowboys on, I didn't watch them at all. I just didn't, I just didn't understand it. So I'm like, what's the point of watching it? But I did watch the Portland Trailblazers, my favorite team at the time. I think the Dallas Cowboys has eclipsed it just barely. But that's all I watched was NBA. Portland Trailblazers, that's all I watched because it was the only sport that I understood and I loved to play. Fast forward about three years. Uh, it was like week one, week two, Tony Roma goes down, but I'm like, oh, I really, I really, because I started liking football. I think I played a season of football and I actually understood it. So I'm like, oh, I'll check it out. And then I just kept watching more games and games and I started to enjoy it a lot more. And I just, from then on, I just keep kept watching the Dallas Cowboys and, and that's how it all started. So the first season I watched them play, they went 4-12 and because, like I said, Tony Romo was injured basically the whole season. And then the next year, Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott, 13-3, and made the playoffs, lost the first round of Green Bay Packers. Second season, didn't make the playoffs, 9-7. and uh, Zeke was suspended six games. Season three, um, or season four by this time, uh, they made the playoffs this year. Uh, Dak... Zeke, and then they all made the playoffs, 11 and 5. One in the first round against the uh, Seahawks, who I despise. I don't like the Seahawks at all. Even though they're mo the most local team, I just I can't stand the Seattle Seahawks. But <sighs> last week, they lost to the Rams in the divisional round, which really sucks because we haven't made it to an NFC championship in uh, 23 years now. We haven't been able to get it past the divisional round. And we're 0-4 in the divisional round with Jason Garrett and I believe 2-4 overall. But it, it isn't all bad news uh, because they fired our offensive coordinator who was absolutely terrible, Scott Linehan. I, I just did not like him at all. I thought his plays were terrible. He was not... He was it, There had like no trick plays. It was just basic hand the ball to Zeke and go. There was no Philly Philly specials or anything like that. Nothing special. So that's the good news about, about us losing to the Rams. The only good news. The main reason I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan is because of my dad. He's been a lifelong Dallas Cowboys fan. And he told me the story how I became it. So he's about 10 years old. I will never forget this story. So he's 10 years old and he's watching a... Uh, Dallas Cowboys Pittsburgh Steelers game and he wasn't no bandwagon and he went with the Steelers that day and they were really good until they fell off and he's like oh I'm just gonna I'm gonna join the Dallas Cowboys because they're starting to a rise up team no he he picked the Dallas Cowboys day one not because Dallas Cowboys won that game or anything like that it was the black jerseys with the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the white jerseys with Dallas Cowboys and he always preferred the white jerseys over the black jerseys so that is how he became a Dallas Cowboys fan because the Dallas Cowboys were wearing white jerseys. That is how I became a Dallas Cowboys fan and how my dad became a Dallas Cowboys fan because he is the main reason I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. And this, the reason I'm an Indianapolis Colts fan is because of my mom. And the reason she likes Indianapolis Colts is because she just loved their, their quarterback at the time and she just, she just liked the team ever since. But... I don't want to end the video like that. I want to have a predictions at the end of this. So prediction time. So the AFC and NFC championship games are tomorrow. And I'm going to try my best to predict um, who's going to win. So I'm going to start with the NFC because I think that might be a little bit easier to predict. And I'm going with the Saints. Um, and I want the Saints to win too, not because I hate the Rams. I actually don't mind the Rams, even though they beat us. I'm, I'm not going to be ill hard because they beat us. I, don't, I think because I think that's stupid to hate a team because they beat you, unless you hate that team prior, which I didn't. So, therefore, I, w I think the Saints are going to win mainly because the Saints beat the Rams earlier this season. And they're their number one seed. They're at home. They're 5-0 in the playoffs with Drew Brees and Sean Payton in the playoffs at home. 
So I'm going with the Saints going to Super Bowl 53 from the NFC side. So the AFC. Now the Patriots and Chiefs. I've predicted the the Chargers were going to beat the Patriots in the NFC, uh, the divisional round. Um, that did not happen. They got blown out. I thought it was going to be a close game. Maybe New England could uh, pull it out. But I thought for sure uh, the Chargers were going to win a close game, but they just got blown up by New England. So I absolutely despise New England, but I have to pick them because I predicted them against last week and against a veteran quarterback, even though he, Tom Brady has his number against Philip Rivers and the Chargers. But you, I can't predict I can't I can't predict against Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game. Even though it, it, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are having an outstanding season, one of the best seasons of offensive seasons of all time. I just can't do it. I I would love absolutely love to see the Chiefs either blow them out or a close game and just upset the uh, Patriots and make it to the play, uh, Super Bowl. I would just love that, but I don't think it can happen. I think the Patriots are going to take it and go to the Super Bowl for the third straight year. And they're going to be playing the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I kind of rambled on in the end. I uh, kind of went off topic, but I didn't want to just leave you with like a three-minute video saying, well, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I wanted to put little predictions at the end. Um, unfortunately, like I said, they were eliminated, so I don't get to see them play tomorrow. But... The future is bright. We got a lot of young talent, and it looks pretty good in Dallas. Uh, until uh, Jason Garrett, uh, I, I mean, I like Jason Garrett, but he's not the best coach in the world. He's just too nice. He doesn't have that killer instinct. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Dylan from Dylan's Vids, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.